The amendment of the law for the establishment of Edo State University Iyamu was mentioned at plenary by the majority leader Folio Gidebe in an application said the motion should be set aside on technical ground for a later day. The motion was seconded by the deputy speaker Justin Okunogu. Also at plenary, the clarity whether or not the first female speaker in Edo State should be addressed as Mr. or Madam was put to rest by the congratulatory message from one time speaker of the House. Friday Itula, who cleared the issue. Meanwhile, the Chairman Public Accounts Committee, Crosby Eribu, presented two reports on Ambrose Lee University Auditor's report and that of Edo State Government. Also at plenary, the House described the transition of the Benin monarch, Obae Diawa, as a colossal loss to the Benin Kingdom. The member representing Orion East constituency, Lusayaba Okumbo, made the remark during plenary. A minute silence was reserved for the transited Benin monarch. The Benin and the entire Edo people proud. You will agree with me that this period under review, the kingdom and indeed the state witnessed peace and tranquility. In another development, the Speaker Elizabeth RTV has assured staff of the legislative arm of the House continuous improved working relationship in order to take the legislature to an enviable height. The Speaker made the remark in a maiden interactive section with the staff. The Speaker's comment, which was complimented by the Majority Leader Folio Gidigbe, who told the staff that the impeachment carried out by the new leadership was to liberate the people from an oppressive regime. Fosa Wangwe reporting.